Imagine a country donating an enormous amount of drinking water to another. Why would they do that? Let's dive into a recent scenario where China donates 1,500 tons of drinking water from Tibet's glaciers to the Maldives. In a world where water scarcity is a growing concern, this act of generosity is more than meets the eye. The water, sourced from the pristine glaciers of Tibet, was transported in massive amounts to the island nation of the Maldives, a country known for its beautiful beaches and crystal clear waters but ironically, struggles with freshwater availability. The scale of this donation is immense, 1,500 tons of water. To put that into perspective, that's the equivalent of 600 Olympic-sized swimming pools. A donation of this magnitude is noteworthy, yet it's not the first time the Maldives has received water aid. Let's rewind the clock a bit. Back in 2014, the Maldives faced a severe water crisis. A fire at the country's only desalination plant left the residents of Mail, the capital city, without access to safe drinking water. The situation was dire, and help was urgently needed. And who stepped in? India. India, historically a significant aid provider to the Maldives, promptly dispatched a fleet of aircraft and ships laden with water. The swift response was a testament to the close ties between the two nations and highlighted India's role as a regional leader. Fast forward to the present, and we see China stepping in with a substantial water donation. This act raises questions about the implications for the region and beyond. Is this merely a benevolent act, or does it signify a shift in regional dynamics? The act of donating water, a basic human necessity, might seem straightforward, but as we peel back the layers, we realize it's anything but. Beneath the surface, it's a complex web of diplomacy, regional influence, and geopolitics. With the context set, let's explore how this donation could potentially influence diplomatic relations. Aid often has diplomatic implications. So, what happens when China steps in, where India has long been the aid provider? Let's take a step back to understand the historical diplomatic relations between India and the Maldives, a bond that has blossomed over the years. India has been a robust pillar of support for the Maldives, particularly during crises. Recall the water crisis of 2014? India was the first to respond airlifting tons of drinking water to its island neighbor. Now, enter China. By donating 1,500 tons of drinking water from Tibet's glaciers to the Maldives, China introduces a new dynamic to this diplomatic equation. What was once a primarily bilateral relationship between India and the Maldives could evolve into a triangular one, with China playing a more prominent role. This could potentially alter the established diplomatic dynamics, creating a ripple effect that extends beyond these three nations. But diplomacy isn't the only arena affected. This donation could also shift regional influence. When a powerhouse like China makes a move, ripples are felt throughout the region. As China steps up with a hefty donation of 1,500 tons of drinking water, it's not just the Maldives that are taking notice. This act of generosity may well be perceived as an attempt by China to amplify its influence in the region, extending its reach into territories traditionally under India's sphere of influence. And what about India? Well, it's a delicate dance. China's involvement in the Maldives could potentially challenge India's standing, its role as a key aid provider somewhat overshadowed by China's grand gesture. It's a chessboard of diplomacy and strategy, and the game is afoot. But let's not forget, this is not just about politics and power plays. It's about a fundamental human need. It's about water. Yet, beyond politics, this donation raises questions about a key resource, water. Water? a vital resource is becoming a crucial concern in the face of climate change. How does this donation play into that? Water is life. It's an essential building block of civilization, and its scarcity or abundance can dramatically shape the destiny of nations. Now, while China's benevolent act of donating 1,500 tons of drinking water from the Tibetan glaciers to the Maldives doesn't directly affect India's water security, it does throw a spotlight on the broader regional concerns about water availability and climate change impacts. Consider the Himalayan glaciers, a significant water source for billions in Asia. Climate change threatens these icy reserves, and in turn, the water security of those dependent on them. Moreover, the increased frequency of droughts and floods across the region is a stark reminder of the pressing need for sustainable water management strategies. China's act is therefore a wake-up call, emphasizing the urgency for comprehensive, cooperative efforts to ensure water security amidst the changing climate. And finally, let's not forget the strategic location of the Maldives. 
The Maldives, a small nation in the Indian Ocean, holds strategic importance due to its location. How does this water donation fit into the larger geopolitical picture? Let's start by acknowledging the Maldives' geographical significance. Nestled in the Indian Ocean, the Maldives is a stone's throw away from India and serves as a gateway to the West. This makes it a coveted piece on the geopolitical chessboard. Now, let's consider China's recent move. By donating 1,500 tons of drinking water from Tibet's glaciers to the Maldives, China has not just quenched the thirst of a nation, but has also made a strategic play. This move, while seemingly humanitarian, can be seen as a bid to extend China's influence in the Indian Ocean region, a space traditionally dominated by India. This puts India in a precarious position. With China's increased presence in the Maldives, there's potential for a shift in the balance of power. This isn't just about water or aid, it's about geopolitical influence and strategic positioning. India has long been the Maldives' ally and protector, but with China's growing involvement, India's role could be challenged. Furthermore, this move also echoes the broader narrative of China's Belt and Road Initiative, a global development strategy involving infrastructure development and investments in nearly 70 countries. The water donation can be seen as a microcosm of China's larger ambition to reshape the world order. However, this is a complex evolving situation. It's not a zero-sum game. While China's actions may challenge India's position, they also highlight the importance of regional cooperation, especially in the face of shared challenges like water security and climate change. So what does this all mean for the future? Well, it's hard to say for certain. Geopolitics is a fluid field shaped by a multitude of variables. But one thing's for sure, this water donation is more than just a generous act. It's a move on the geopolitical chessboard with implications that extend far beyond the immediate needs it addresses. In conclusion, a simple act of water donation can have wide-ranging impacts, from diplomacy to regional politics, water security, and even geopolitical strategy.